Hey there, Nick at Blood Cells here. I want to show you a new module made in collaboration with Swedish composer and artist Vall, and it's called Mangle. Mangle is a passive analog audio processor, passive in the sense that it doesn't use the usual plus and minus 12 volt rails in the Eurorack system, so you won't need one of these. Instead, the module is powered by the control voltage you insert into the power input jack on the front panel. That CV will drive the circuitry and manipulate whatever audio is passing through the module, giving you anything from wildly overdriven tones to voltage starved and wrecked and whatever lies in between. This CV could be any positive voltage source, say a voltage manually controlled with an attenuator, envelopes or a voltage from something performable like a ribbon controller. Um, LFOs and audio are also highly encouraged. Just note that any negative voltage going into the power input will be ignored. All right, let's strip things back and take a closer look. All right, so for this first video, I thought it'd be best to show what Mangle does by just running a simple drone through it, just so we can hear what Mangle is actually doing with, you know, just a really simple input, basically. Um, and while doing that, we can check out what's going on over on the scope as well. So the yellow channel is unaffected pre-Mangle, which sounds like what we're hearing right now, actually. This is pretty well unaffected, as you can tell, because the green is post-Mangle. They look identical, basically. And then red over here is the voltage we're feeding into the power input of Mangle. So we can see in here what effect it's having as we mess with it. So we're working with about zero to 10 volts uh, for voltage, by the way, on this video here. So I should say really quick that Mangle is running into a module called MUM. That's a module coming out at the same time that I'm gonna do a different video for, but um, I'm using it here just to give some makeup gain if needed. Um, since Mangle's at the mercy of whatever kind of voltage you feed it, as you get lower in level, as you, know, you start diving into voltage starvation, you're probably gonna lose some output level. Um, so makeup gain is, you know, it's not required, but it can be helpful for pulling out those interesting things out of the, the voltage starved depths, if you will. All right, let's see what this thing can do with just the basic drone. So we got the input drive at three o'clock. Let's uh, just do a sweep from low to high um, and we'll hear how things shift. And if we hear anything cool, we'll stop along the way. starved all the way, no voltage coming into Mangle. Let's go up again. Some nice grimy stuff down here. And right there. I like that a lot. Let's do some fast sweeps. Let's do this again with the input drive all the way up. That's full strength audio coming in, so it's really gonna push it into overdrive. Turn this down so we're not clipping on. And some fast ones. something else that's cool is the gain switch here if we pull this down if you have like a weaker input signal you can boost up to 21 db like so and it's also fun to boost it like even if we're already at full gain and overdriving at the lower gain level we can still get more and more is better okay so if we uh, turn on some soft clipping low gain first. A, B, and then some hard clipping. And both. And at higher gain as well. Cool. So, some interesting textures across that full range of voltage. I really dig it. Um, 
Yeah, a lot of it's going to come down to the, the ratio of your input voltage to your input drive. So that's definitely something to play with. Um, let's uh, check out chip number two. So there are two circuits built into Mangle. One uses chip number one, which is built in, and then chip number two, which is on the front. You can swap to that uh, here. That's going to give you some different flavors, especially when you're starving and overdriving. Um, there are actually a couple of different chips included in the box, one of which is installed for you here. So um, let's flip over there, and I'm just going to high gain already, just in the interest of time. Pull that down a bit. And we'll do some sweeps. Boost the input drive. Really go into overdrive here. Double quick sweeps. And see some soft clipping. Hard clipping. And by the way, there is actually a middle position to this chip select switch, which is a total kill. Kills the whole deal. All right, I'm gonna pull this back and just kind of get back into, go back to one here. Let's talk about the bias CV really quick. So I've got some voltage coming off a of woggle bug. I'm gonna plug that into the bias CV. So adding voltages in here allows you to modulate the audio signal up towards the ceiling a bit more than normal. It's fun to play with when you add noticeably changing voltages like we're hearing now. I will say, if you're already massively overdriven, you probably won't hear much of a difference with it because you're already crushed up against the ceiling and you have no headroom left. Pretty subtle. But if you run into that, just pull the input drive down to make some space for it. Let's uh, try mixing in some different voltages now at this point. Um, I'm gonna pull back the manual voltage just to leave a little space for these other guys to be able to do something. Um, let's add an envelope. Let's start seeing that pulse over here. And if we totally kill the manual voltage, it goes all the way off. And then we re-add some manual voltage for an offset. So it's always on a little bit then. And let's add some audio rate CV. Coming off this LFO here. Let's mix in some uh, random voltages from PAMs as well. Just to really get things wrecked. So there's a couple other things I should mention on Mangle, one of which is the snuff switch here. That is a way to totally cut the power into the module. So it's like an instant passive mode, basically. And the other thing is the power through here. That's a simple passive mult of whatever CV is coming into the power input. And it's great for powering an adjacent Mangle if you want to run in stereo. All right, so now we've got a nice little obliterated texture just from a basic drone. That's the tour. So the sky's the limit. It's really dependent on what material you put into this thing, how you want to modulate it, and the ratio between the voltage level and the input drive is something key to play with. I've actually really liked putting organic instruments like strings and French horn, for instance, into Mangle, playing with starvation. 
not to mention guitars and whatnot, you get some really just unique, unusual tones for sure that just sound different in a track. Um, all right, so uh, anyway, expect more videos soon, and please hit me up if you have any questions. Talk soon.